Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and we're bringing you a brand new special video for you guys. This one's going to be the hard raid, and we're just going to explain it as we go, so we're going to get into this, and we're just going to do it like we would normally do. This is going to be a little tutorial as well for you guys, so basically we're going to teach you how to get more seconds off the boss at the end, and you're going to see me and my team, what we're going to do is we're going to effectively one-shot the boss. Unfortunately, the game does fuck us over on it, because what it does is it gives the boss health back. You know those little glitches that you get from the game where it gives the uh, Praetorians health back? It did it with the boss, <laughs> because we killed it too quick. <coughs> And we're going to show you exactly what I mean by that. <coughs> Sorry about the random cough. Right, so first of all what we're going to start with is we're going to start with the gatekeeper and the two relics. So we're just going to show you that part. One of our players does die, but we've always got somebody to cover it in order to pick up the relic. Right, so first of all, all we're going to do is we're going to take this gatekeeper down. You know, you can see on my loadout, I've actually, as a warlock, I've chose to say in Nova. Because what we do with the tactics is we have a numbers from 1 to 4. 4 people being the relic holders. And the lowest number will pick up the relic. And obviously the highest numbers are going to work on the oracles. That way there's no confusion or anything like that. So I'm just going to Nova bomb into this green room. And I'm just going to... Plant a rocket, plant two rockets. Now, the one thing that messes up here is if Artie actually killed the boss and I didn't. So I'm just going to chuck that to make him teleport. And then I'm going to plant another rocket. So unfortunately what this is going to do to me is it's going to make me black screen. Now, we're going to get a hobgoblin here. And we're just going to take him out with a rocket as well while we've got time to do so. Now we're going to jump up and we're going to use our top right bumper in order to do this little motion here. This will get you to the place quicker and as you can see I'm black screen but I'm out nice and safe for you. Right now that we're safe um, we're just waiting for the other relic holder to get out and he's already out so maybe I was a bit slow off the mark there. And all we're going to do is everybody in our team is going to end up working on these miniatures that you can see me attacking right now. And what me and Stone Stealth are going to do is we're going to work on the Minotaurs on the gate. Now unfortunately, sometimes the uh, Praetorians, Minotaurs, whatever you call them, yeah, the Minotaurs, they get health back, and basically sometimes you can't hit them as well. And you just want to back off, regen your health, and then ground slam back into them. So like you see here, I'm just going to ground slam this one, I'm going to push him, and we pushed him straight back through the portal, so we're not going to worry. Connor's going to pick up the relic there as Nathan went down and I'm just going to help to take out these Praetorians or Minotaurs, forgive me for calling them the wrong thing, and we're just going to take them out one by one. Going to help Connor nearly jump off the edge because we actually completed it there. Now this is the interesting and special surprise for you guys, this is our first run of it, I was actually broadcasting this at the time, now my view account is usually bugged a little bit but it seems not many people want to watch like um, things that will help them and stuff like that, or maybe it's because I've used Twitch for literally about 3 days, so it's just one of those things, I am on Twitch now so you can follow me at LAHilton1987. And also, I'm still going to be bringing out the videos onto YouTube, like little tutorials, all sorts and stuff like that. Now, yeah, I'm actually going in for an operation next week, guys, so I may be off for a little bit. So I'm going to be doing you some videos on a little timer as well. Uh, that'll just give me time, because obviously I'm going to have to recover. Right, so I've been teleported, but I'm not the lowest number. I'm going to use the Nova Bomb in the yellow room. That usually will take out all the Hobgoblins, and the Relic Holder's just going to finish them off. So what we're doing now is we're working onto these Oracles. Now, we're a bit slow off the mark on this one, so what's going to happen is we're going to end up in the Cleanse Lake, but we know the Oracle's directly ahead. And the next one's going to be to the right hand side. There we go. So we're not back on time or anything like that. Now what you want to do with the last oracle guys, remember send your other two people out and one person just stay in just to kill it. That's going to give you a full 20-25 seconds give or take on air fields. That way you can rinse him harder. So this is our first portal run. 
Right, now that it's our first portal run, you can see his health has already gone majorly down by the time I've got out. I'm just going to add my Galahorns into there, so I'm going to be jumping up this fully upgraded Galahorn that I'm using. The other weapons that people are using is the sniper rifle. Now watch the boss's health, guys. Boom! And boom! Definitely dead? No. He just got 25% of his health back, so the game screws us up at the same time. So now we're going to have to basically improvise because we thought we killed the boss and unfortunately we're stuck on the middle. So I'm going to jump up here, I'm going to super straight down and save my teammate from the explosions from the actual supplicant. And there you go, we're all safe again. So we're obviously, we're going to finish him off on the last route. Now I'm just going to come over this way while one of ours has died. And I'm just keeping jumping because those supplicants, they'll rush towards you and they will self-destruct as well. That's one good way of killing a supplicant, but it's also very risky to do. And you're just going to see us get straight in the middle and we're just basically going to rinse the crap out of the boss's health just to finish it off with. Technically, we did one-shot it, guys, and you seen that blatantly a second ago. Unfortunately, um, the game glitched and it gave the boss health back. It must have felt sorry for him because we killed him that quick. There we go. We finished the boss off and that's going to be the end of the little tutorial for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And for now, all I can really say is peace out. And yeah, if you also give me a little follow on Twitter, it is at bboyspook, that's B-B-O-Y-S-P-O-O-K. And um, that way you can get all my video updates, they'll be coming on every time that I upload, they will show on Twitter as well. And yeah guys, peace out.